Kenny, how was the old town before the construction of George the Fourth Bridge? The old town in Edinburgh before you know the uh, rise, if you like, of George the Fourth Bridge uh, was uh, you know a sort of run down street. But at the other end of that, you had a, a royal palace, the Queen's official residence in the city of Edinburgh, and at the top end, you had the home of the. Uh, Scottish regalia, the crown jewels, the crown, the sword and the scepter. But you know what, whatever you do in your day-to-day -day life happened on that single linear street. You know, from the legal system, uh, you know, uh, further up the Royal Mile uh, to flesh market close, you would have bought your butcher meat. Candle maker close, you would have bought your, your tallow. Uh, you know, Encyclopedia Britannica was published uh, in, in there. Also, uh, you know, one of our great philosophers uh, Adam Smith wrote the book The Wealth of Nations uh, further down the Royal Mile. But as far as transport goes, the Royal Mile was back in the old days, clip-clop of horses, people, gatherings and things like that. So its transportation was, you know, its very infancy uh, in the Royal Mile at that time. How did the construction of George the Fourth Bridge change transport in Edinburgh when it was built? It almost was the age of enlightenment, if you like. You know, th this link from the south side uh, of Edinburgh to the old town, uh, be bearing in mind that this old town had buildings about 12 storeys high, and this link allowed transportation to get access to the old town and beyond, which was very important. And people tend to forget that. They talk, concentrate on the old town. But when this uh, George IV Bridge was built by Hamilton, uh, the engineer, it gave access, yeah, for transportation to the old town, but also to the this purpose-built Georgian new town. So it was something of, uh, it was greeted by everyone. And of course, it hastened uh, transportation, uh, the movement of people's goods and so on. So the service industry, I think, at that time, would have been very grateful uh, to Hamilton uh, for the building of George IV Bridge. And how is the bridge used in present-day Edinburgh? Well, it's one of over 500 bridges around the city of Edinburgh, you know, and George IV Bridge is probably one of the most important. Uh, we actually have more bridges uh, around Edinburgh than they do in, in, in Venice and in, in, in Italy. But today for transportation, Edinburgh uh, Lothian region, the buses and that, give great access from the south side, bringing people into and beyond the city and services the old town as well. So for transportation, it was just, uh, you know, uh, uh, unbelievable. Uh, it really opened up so many corridors, so many doors for so many people. And of course, our buses that go around taking our tourists come along Georgia Foot Bridge as well. So Georgia Foot Bridge is one of these links that services the rest of the city and it saves these long journeys round it by linking you straight in to the medieval old town.